Wow. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Glad. You have no idea how much this truly, truly means to me. This is the stuff that really matters in life. Looking out at this audience, I see so many familiar faces and beautiful people. And I'm so proud to be in this room with all of you. I grew up in this community as most of my lifelong best friends identify as LGBTQ. So much of who I am and what I do is because of each of you and the shared experience of having to fight for equality and freedom in some capacity. Side by side, we've learned and taught each other everything about life, from business to relationships to music, family, partying, I don't know who does it better, and of course, how to give a good blowjob. I mean, I'm just saying. We know how to get dirty. Okay. <laughs> and while I've had years of incredible moments with this family, the community has endured decades of fighting, and we will continue to do so. I'm constantly impressed by your examples of the courage it takes to fight for acceptance, respect, and safety that every human being deserves, which happens to be the core message of the music and art I've created over the years. When you've been a victim of violence, abuse, or trauma, it is incredibly hard and scary to find your voice and fight back. Having grown up in a home with domestic violence, it was seeing my mom in a powerless position that first ignited the fire in me to speak up for all of the people whose voices don't get heard. And it is not easy. As I entered this industry, it was my mission to creatively empower others through my music. So, I wrote a few songs, and I made a bunch of music videos, and I ruffled a whole lot of feathers. <laughs> it's okay to make people a little mad. Sometimes you need to feel it. And honestly, it felt very natural for me to showcase what the world is really like. As I continue my career, I'm constantly inspired by all of the HIV activists, trans rights leaders, and LGBTQ rebels who work tirelessly to push back against conformity and injustice. Michael, you say that I inspire you. Let me go that way. But to me, you're the true hero. Oh, <laughs> you're the true hero, babe. <laughs> I'm like, where, where'd he go? <laughs> You are. It takes incredible courage to live through violence and then decide, I'm going to do something to change this. You chose to go to Washington, D.C. with GLAD and others to make politicians feel the kind of compassion, mm, compassion that leads to change, that takes guts. It's heroic. We all need to raise our voices if we want to live in a world that's free of discrimination, hate, and violence. I feel so grateful tonight because, for me, it's not about winning awards or being honored. It's nice, though, thank you. But my greater purpose, <laughs> yes, my greater purpose is to use the platform I have to change lives for the better. So thank you, Glad, for this and all that you do to make sure every voice in the LGBTQ community gets heard. We can't help each other if we can't hear each other. So thank you.